Hello guys, welcome to Chinta School of Statistics and Data Science. For your preparation courses of IITGM MS, ISIM Stat and CMI MS Data Science, check out the first link in the description below. If you're enjoying the video, show some love by liking the video and subscribing to the channel. We welcome you again to this passionate community of budding statisticians and data scientists. Let's enjoy the rest of the video. Stay tuned and stay blessed. Now, how, how the theorem sequence has evolved? It's very interesting. Understand our goal is what? Our aim is to understand it or find or prove. Find the limit of a sequence or prove its convergence. That is the aim. Now, as I have told you, there are two different ways out there. Number one way, now this is like the understanding or what happens. In convergence or divergence. So the one part is this behavior, and this part is finding the limit. So you can say this is kind of existential behavior. This is like the computational aspect. OK? So I, I will probably give an example. Computation is like. For example, there's a difference between saying this function, this polynomial has a root. This polynomial has a real root, a real value, which for which if you put into that, it will give zero. Okay, has it existential questions? And there's a difference between saying that and saying that uh, how to find the root of the polynomial. Okay. So computers are famous for doing this, how to find the root of the polynomial, how to find the root, how to find the limit. And that's the computational mind of the human brain. And the existential is like the behavior, understanding what's happening inside. You know, the creative aspect, like everything, like connecting the dots and the puzzles, okay, of the whole. So we'll see at the end of this course of sequences, we'll see, we'll connect every dots and puzzles of the entire thing. So this behavior asks you about, uh, ask you questions like, or you answer questions like, what happens? If a sequence doesn't converge, that's the main question. What happens if a sequence doesn't converge? That's the main question we address in this behavior. Okay. Or what makes a sequence converge? What's happening inside? We'll see some conditions like convergence sequence are bounded, OK? And we will see some conditions. Like I have made a flow chart. I will explain you that today. You will see sequences as, you know, if divergent sequence are there, for example, why sign in and sign in is not diver, like sign in is divergent. Sign in is divergent because if you plot that, it turns out that there are certain subsequences which goes to other limits. OK, so the basic idea is that it's it's understanding, it's putting the puzzles together. This will be done in the later class, in the classes that will be coming in the next week. And this is the fun part. This is the beautiful part of it, that connecting the puzzles and the dots together, what's happening and everything out there. And then I will take an, you know, I will take an, an, an you know, an, 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 an final class where I will overview the entire thing, putting the puzzles together and showing you that, okay, this is the idea. One is this, okay? You will see, cons learn concepts like sequences. You will learn concepts like Cauchy sequences, okay? You will learn concepts like uh, subsequence and monotone, bounded. I will do a part of it today. Now, all these interesting things, Bolzano-Westress theorem. Okay, 
This helps you understand what's happening under the hood. Limb sublimate. This is the most important limb sublimate. Because this is the place where it gets the most confusing and students lose it because they don't understand what the mathematics is trying to mean. Like, A and is going, let's say it's hard. So we'll explain you by, like, it's a story that folds, unfolds in front of you. Why limb sublimate was defined? The oscillation. These things. These things create an infrastructure of a long term behavior of a sequence. You will understand from this behavior everything, every single aspect of this technology. Okay. This is these are the parts of a car you can assume. And the car is to understand the behavior of the sequence, long term behavior. Okay. Whether it's not divergent or convergent doesn't matter, but the long term behavior of the sequence. Now, finding the limit. Finding the limit is where we will be uh, looking a bit today. Uh, not a bit today, but I will explain you the basic idea. Is that how the whole thing was developed? The whole thing was developed in this manner that this is how mathematics. If you see any 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 way how it's done, first, if you say differentiation, you have done differentiation, right? So if you remember, in whatever book there is a differentiation list, okay. So the definitions are used to find two things. So as you can see, the sequence can be defined in terms of you know f of n or recurrence relation. Right? Whatever it is, for f of n it's helpful. So what's done uh, finding the limit when the function is analytically defined? This is how it's done. So using the actual definition, they find a set of usual limits. A set of usual limits. A set of usual by a set of usual limits, I mean uh, one by n goes to zero. Okay. And they prove it using those things. And the set of algebra. So what is this doing there? These are the building blocks, the Lego blocks, okay? And these are the uh, these are the bricks, and this is the algebra of them. It helps you attach it. It's just like the adhesive, okay? So for example, one way is that I will tell you it's it's saying that if a n is less than b n, then and if a n b n goes to b. And an goes to a, it implies that a is also less than b. Right. So how can you use this in, uh, let's say, we don't know the limit of sign, but we know 1 by n limit exists. So what we are using, essentially, is that, let's say, let's say you take sine of n by n. You take the modulus of it, OK? So it's less than or equal to, you know, sine n is less than or equal to 1, right? It's mod sine n. So it becomes 1 and n. And this is less than or equal to 0. No, that in, no, this limit is 0, going to 0. Hence, this limit must be going to 0 because a is less than or equal to 0 and greater than or equal to 0. The only possibility is 0. This is something called squeeze theorem. We will do this in more details. But the basic idea is understand. Using the knowledge of 1 by n, it found the limit of sine n by n. We are a team of extremely passionate teachers, researchers, and statisticians from the top universities of India and USA. Our mission is to help you curve your career in statistics, data science, and machine learning. How do we do that? Number one, we help you build your foundations. We achieve that by making an optimized plan for your learning journey. Number two, we help you prepare and ace your entrance examinations in statistics and data science, like IIT Jam MS, ISIM STAT, and CMI MS Data Science. Number three, we give our absolute best to help you design your career by organizing workshops and certified data science courses.